The Deep South is rich with storied duck clubs, but few are more iconic than Beaver Dam Lake in Tunica, Mississippi. The historic Oxbow was formed by a course change in the Mississippi River long ago. Oxbow lakes aren't much to look at and most survive in obscurity. Not so at Beaver Dam. Famed sports rider and waterfowl hunter Nash Buckingham made sure of that. His tales of this lake's glory days have been read by millions, causing a waterfowl hunting pilgrimage every year to its murky waters. We're doing an old school hunt with some very old school hunters, and we're going back to a simpler time with our choice of guns. Man, what a great morning out here at Beaver Dam Historic Lake. And we decided to go old school. You know, uh, man, this lake stretches back to, golly, the 1800s people have been hunting it that we're aware of. Nash Buckingham, uh, his club started back in the late 1800s. We decided we we're going to shoot old guns. Uh, Winchester Model 12 is the only shotgun my daddy ever owned, and I, I just, well, I shoot a lot of other guns now, but I, I, it sure was nice to go back and shoot that today. Didn't y'all think? Yeah. Very much. I get them. You got that gun's even older, ain't What is that? This is an 1897 Winchester 1897. It, it kind of took the place of the 1893. John Browning was credited for inventing this gun, and uh, it was made for six. They made over a million of these guns. It was made for 60 years. Wow. And the original was a 30-inch barrel, and they made a 26-inch barrel. But you could you could get from 20 inch to 36 inch. You you can specify different barrel lengths. And uh, they made a 16 gauge and a 12. Oh, Ready to come back his way. The Model 12s came out in uh, 1912, but these was made 50 years after that. They were so reliable. I'm still using this gun. This gun's made in 1915 and it shoots as good as any other gun on the market. And I'm proud to be, have this legacy. Well, we kind of fast forward to the 1950s with this one. This is a Model 21 side by side in 20 gauge, choke full and full, 28 inch barrel. A place like this, that's all I'd be shooting to. Yeah. Huh? I kind of like those side by side. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I don't know when they started making the 21s, do you? It was the 1930s. 30s. The early 30s. John early Owens 30s. really, you know, it was his idea, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in the world of guns that he really wanted something that was on the level of the Fox and the Parker, right. you know, for, right. for Winchester. And so right. he, they developed the Model 21, which turned out to be the strongest of the American side-by-side. -side. Sure. And they carried them on through the 1970s uh, until they finally they became a custom shop gun after that. Right. Um, but they, you know, this gun was, was carried on through the war, uh, World War II, and you know, when, in a time when not many people were buying, you know, high-end right. doubles, right. and uh, it, right. it survived all those years. And like I said, to these days, the, the 21 is, is a real icon in, in the American yeah. double gun. It is. It's a, it's a good gun. It's a, a very reliable gun, and uh, and I love it. I don't shoot it quite as much as I should, but uh, but it was a pleasure to shoot today, and it I only shot it a couple times, but it seemed to work okay. You shot it well with it. Yeah. That's right, and this is my Model 12 heavy duck gun. It, it this is uh, this was uh, considered one of the premier duck guns back in the day. <laughs> 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 
Oh, dang, John. I got on both. <laughs> you can't give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> right there, right there. Oh, yeah. 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 Shot three inch shell, and the three inch shell was, was a fairly recent invention. They really didn't come along until the 1960s. Uh, and even on Winchester, on their on their on the side of the barrel, they, it says for super speed and super X three inch. So they wanted you to shoot your, their ammo, of course, out of the gun. But uh, it's a little heavier gun than than Ramsey. Yeah. That's a, I mean, that's a field a grade Model gun, 12, and so you've got it's a little beefier. It's got a bigger fore end. Uh, it's got a recoil pad. It's a little shorter in the stock because I think they thought guys with heavy ducks would be shooting. For ducks with heavy jackets on, right? So yeah. it's a little shorter length to pull. Um, this gun weighs in almost nine pounds. Well, I think that gun's closer probably to oh, seven yeah. and a half, somewhere yeah. in that range. It is a little heavier. So, but they thought for a three-inch shell that they, they really need a heavier recoil. gun to absorb the recoil. Yeah. Better, right? And, of course, it'll shoot two and three quarters as well. But that was, this is really where the the three-inch became the standard for duck guns in a lot of ways. I'll you know, where two and three quarter. Like there was never a three inch 97. They were only two and three quarter inch guns. And actually before that, I think they were two and two, two and, and nine sixteenths or yeah. two and a half. Right. Um, so it's just, it's interesting. All these guns are Winchesters. And Winchester was really, um, you know, in, in the early days of American gun manufacturing, the Winchester guns were unparalleled. And I mean, they and, and Winchester still makes a great gun today. Uh, but, you know, these are some great examples. And these guns last forever. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously, the ducks couldn't have worked any better, but it was just a great camaraderie we had, you know. Uh, you and Dale going back and forth at each other, ribbing each other about missing dirt birds. And like what friends do? Birds. That's, that's right. right. You know, I mean, that's all part of it. I mean, just it's Beaver Dam, man. I mean, this is this is historic place. So this that's a just perfect place to do a hunt like this. We ended up successfully killing a six-man limit of ducks despite lacking modern firearms. And this location showed us why it's been so revered throughout the years. Thanks for watching DU Nation. Before the next episode, follow us on Instagram to see content as we're making it. And follow Ducks Unlimited on all of our platforms so you don't miss out on anything.